What's up? What's up, YouTube family? And welcome to my YouTube channel, Matt Beretta OG. Yes, I'm not on shorts no more. I am now on the extended version, where y'all can finally check out and dive in a little bit how I dig in today. Today is drumstick bake day. But not just any drumstick bake day. I'm about to make orange drumsticks. So, uh, come and vibe. Cover up for two hours. Dry, clean, ready to be seasoned. I use extra virgin olive oil by Star. Been here for over the years. And the reason why I use extra virgin olive oil before I put my season on it, of course, because when you put that season, once you put the first, you put the extra olive oil in on it. It makes sure that the chicken. It's so well seasoned. It's almost as if though you, you know, you're massaging your baby girl. You know what I'm saying? You know. Also, I like to put my little dip, you know, start cutting this so that when I'm seasoning, though, that season gets inside. In here, salt, pepper, paprika, basil, onion powder, garlic powder. And you know I'm mixed from Puerto Rican, so I gotta have some sauce. Black and Puerto Rican, you know what it is, baby. And you don't, here we go. And there we go, put it all together. You coagulate it all together, baby. It's simple. It's just simple mathematics. You see, but the trick of my trade up today is called orange drumsticks, y'all. Period. Place it, already have your oven on whatever degree. I have mine at 425. For at least 45 minutes to 55 minutes. Also, awesome I promise you that. And while there's a big baby, every 20 minutes I'll check. Okay. Now, while the chicken Jumpsticks is baking in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and make this magic corn sauce. So I like to go ahead and put my nice little margin in there. Let it marinate. Margin's gonna bring an extra flavor. So I got a cup and one fourth half of some tropical, tropical orange juice. Yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how I like mine. You know what I mean? So we wanna bring that to a medium high. Stove top up. And me personally, <laughs> this is my this is right here is honey, two teaspoons of teriyaki sauce, and a teaspoon of ginger mixed together. And we're gonna go ahead and dip that in here. Right up in here with this. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna let that bring that to a boil. Oh yeah. And I'll be right back with you in a minute. Uh, here it is, folks. After 25 minutes in on 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So now, turn these babies over. And put them back in. And another 20 to a good 25 degrees. See, what they looking like and smelling like. Okay. Now I'm just turning the bowl in. Go ahead and add my two tablespoons of apple cider, brown sugar, and white sugar. Zest. And you want to go ahead and mix that in a little bit. And you make sure you want to mix it brown, nice and fine. Because once it's boiling, that means all the juices and the flavors is already coagulated. It's ready to go in and make the shorts cool. 
see a lot of people like to add in their little chili flakes and stuff, but uh, we don't really want to uh, like uh, something coming hot behind our uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> so we keep it neutral. So at the same time, uh, while this is doing that, we want to go ahead and add a little bit of starch. He was trying to fight. <laughs> so this what you do. Let's break bread. Cheers. Yeah, you know I had to put some of that sauce on this right rice. Washington left side. 